Happy one year anniversary, Dragon Project. So yeah, it's been a year. I've not been playing for a year. I think I'm at like 310 or 15 days. But anyway, yeah, we have a free SS Behemoth summon. But first, I also sort of want to do a wardrobe short inventory showcase video. So just to show everything that I've gotten over the time I've played. So there's only one SS set or whatever that I've sold, which was the Gigantor set. But apart from that, I've literally kept every single one. So I even have um, <laughs> the SS tablet. So yeah, I'm just, I guess I'll be showing what I have. So we'll just have the SS Rarity up. Done. So actually, is there like a way to... Okay, there seems to not be. So, um... I swear there used to also be a way to look at multiple ones, but... Yeah, this is my wardrobe. So I think my earliest set, I guess you could call it, would be all the way back here if we go, um... Empress. So I have five out of seven. Let me quickly change this. So yeah, five out of seven Empress. And then I also have the Galdrox set, which is also at five out of seven. I think I had six at one point. I actually think I still have six. Yeah, so I, I have six out of seven of that. And then we went on, I think, Mud Digger and Abaya. So with the comeback banner and stuff surprised um a buyer never came back i have seven out of seven mud digger and um i also have i had a buyer a few a few a buyer pieces i had the um chest piece actually but i sold it and i also made i swear there used to be like a different a better way of checking your equipment but i guess you know what we'll just go this way this is faster so three phantom sentences so if we my first oh i actually have the felnarog sword and shield and the amarox aspect so i'm keeping all sword and shields and bows because bow and sword and shield fanatic i really wish i got the full felnarog set that's a set i would still probably summon for just for the looks so I have both normal SS Sword and Shield. I'm missing the Menphitis Sword and Shield. And then we got the first Heat Sword and Shield. So I got two, I think I got total three Abayas, but I sold the chess piece one. And then we went on with the Infinite Ruva. So I have, actually with Infinite Ruva, I should have um, six out of seven with one um, Felnarog Sword and Shield. And then we went, we went on with two as Dajar, so I got seven out of seven of that. Also, max limit broken. I think this is my one of the two max limit broken sets I have. The other one is um, what's that thing called? I am a. And then um, yeah, Trumper. I I only have um one piece of so, no two pieces. So I have the Chartabis Sword and Shield and the headpiece somewhere and then we went into the generation of soul weapons so after the chartabist sword and shield we went nura so i have seven i was using that for battle royale but i have seven out of seven nura haven't max limit broken it yet because i'm too lazy to farm everything and sell everything and then after Nura, we have, um, what was the next? Oh, yeah, we had, we got Ayame. So I also got the full set of this. Max Limit broke it immediately as well. And then after Ayame, I think the next Sword and Shield was the Guardian. And I actually got my um, last Guardian piece yesterday with um, a ticket summon, single ticket summon. So I got five out of seven of that, which I'm really happy about. 
And then we have Osmia. So I have at least a 5 out of 7 set of each Soul, Sword and Shields. So really happy about that. Only need th um, the Earth one. Don't know if I will actually summon for that one though. Because of the Burst, Sword and Shield being so close. So that is my Sword and Shield collection. Now if we go to the next weapons. I also have all these um events. Weapons, sword and shields, which I'm keeping. We have a bunch of great swords. So we have Ovid and stuff like that. I only have, um, I think three or four proper sets though. So we have the Galdruck set, which I decided to run two Ovid sword and shield, um, great swords with just for the cleave time. We have the, um, Fantail Aragami mix set. So this was to maximize the lethal draw charge time. So you get charge time from the charge time reduction from the arm, fantail armor pieces and um, charge time reduction from the Aragami great swords. And then um, I think Ovid. So this is like a really complete awkward mix. So I have um, Macabre, Lich, but stuff like that we have a i don't know i'm like a collector so i like to keep stuff but i might sell everything no idea i also have a lich chest piece as well as the leg piece and then i think we have the yurami set so from the free ss summon i'm hoping i can get one more so it's this is at five out of seven I should have enough material to fully enhance it as well. Yeah, I do. Because of all the expeditions, yeah. So, I think I also have... I have one more great sword set, which is the Eldwin set. So, burst great sword. And then I have a few of, um, few Leviathan and, um, I have Vulcan... Leviathan. I also have Xylent. I also have the Leviathan um, headpiece as well. So that's that. But I'm not using that. And yeah, next we'll go on to Jewel Blade. So I think I have... I've, so over the course of Horuses, I've had 10, 12 Horuses in total. So that's quite an insane amount. I sold two for Lapis, I've kept this, never bothered to max level it as well. And then as shown earlier, we have the Empress set, I also have one Dusk Dream Sakura Blade and one Pandaman's headpiece, so I decided to keep the headpiece because it's nice. Also have the Zaxna, so I don't mind getting another one of these to complete the set. And one of these, so a Tehran would also be nice. So as you can see, I'm, I, the ones where I have at least a 5 out of 7 set, I max limit break the weapon. And then depending on if I will use it a lot more or not, I max limit break the head first for the HP and stuff. But I think we will move on to spears actually, because we'll save bows for last. And then we have my spear set, so 7 out of 7 gory, plus 1 from the battle royale. So yeah, here's the gore niche thing I never sold. And then we have Mercurius, which I guess I can change this into the Malfrost. So I'm at 4 out of 7 Mercurius, I'm only keeping this because it looks so nice. And then I put the um, Malfrost Valenc Mercura arm piece. So it looks really nice together. And then we move. So I used to have um, four out of seven. What's it called? Fantail or whatever it was called. But then I sold them all. And then I realized I shouldn't have sold it. But anyway. And then we moved on to the generation of souls. So. I think I have 6 out of 7 of 2, so I have a set, at least a 5 out of 7 set of every single Soul Spear that's been released. So we have Necroth, then we have Mercura, and then we have Galdora. 
my favorite one I think. So those are all my soul spears and spears in general. Lastly we have bows. So I have a four out at least yeah you know, my skiller set needs to be worked on. I'm using the Anubis thing, so I don't mind getting one of these from the SS summons too, but just go with Anubis. So I partially max limit broke in the armor pieces. Five out of five out of seven. We have the Thunder Monkey set. 1,250 gems for the set. So this was the best summon th thing I've ever done. I haven't max limit broken the armor pieces though. And then we have Skiller. So this back looks really nice. And then we have Mud Digger. Again, not max limit broken anything. Any of the armor pieces. I've also realized the claw bit here. Velenga also has, it's like a piece of the Velenga thing, if you look. But yeah. And then we have um, the Soul Bow. Velenga, 7 out of 7, completely worth it. And then we have CL, debating what to do with it. Because I don't think I'll use it much. Especially with the Light Heat Bow coming out. So I definitely prefer the Heat Bow a lot more than the um, Soul Bow. And then we have a bunch of um event armor event stuff that I haven't sold. So this soul sword and shield from Tower, Halloween um Halloween event sword and shield, bunch of these other sword and shields, great swords as well. I should have when the soul great sword first came. No, did I sell it? Okay, but there was like the shadow soul great sword. I sold that. We have this. First heat great sword apart from Galdrox kept that. Um, we have the ignite and insight, another event weapon, the windstorm, hellish saber, festa de Noel. This was from the Christmas event. This I don't remember. This I also don't remember. And then I also like to keep the bows. So we have the light heat bow somewhere as well. And then we have the bow from this event. Oh yeah, I also have the Gigantor bow. So that's the only bow I decided to keep from this set. Um, we have the Grand Prix helm. Grand Prix helm. This I will probably sell. This I don't know what I'll do with it. We have the Grand Prix helm. So these event stuff as well I'll probably keep. This as well was from the first Grand Prix. So I think it was like top 1000 that got it. Um, but yeah, I think this is mostly my wardrobe for now. So yeah, quite a lot, 293, I think most of these are full of SS stuff. But yeah, let's go into the summon. So sorry, I've chatted a lot and blabbered on and on and on. So free SS behemoth summon. So you can actually go down here to see what's in it most of the time. Oh, okay, so that's it. So, I was expecting, like, all the way back until, like, Felnarog and stuff, but I guess that's that. It's sort of a disappointment, actually. Especially since, actually, what I would like is either Yurami, Guardian, Seal, or Necroth. The other rest is Lapis. The problem when you summon all the time is... Most of it will end up being Lapis. What again is another disappointment is it's only a single summon. In JP it's always a multi summon. So you always have a chance of getting more. But yeah. Happy anniversary summon. Lake. And since I know it's an SS I won't skip it. So let's see what we'll get. Or I'll get. Okay, and it's a Necroth. Okay, so I get 7 out of 7 Dark Soul Spear. So, yeah. 6 out of 7 Mercura. But, yeah, this was all for my Anniversary Wardrobe Showcase thing video. I hope you guys all enjoyed. Bye!